All right, welcome back. This is, I believe, the final video in this series. We are going to add some audio to our game. And we will, uh, first, before we do the audio, I have a couple of things that I want to polish up on. So let's go into our layout and let's pick the paddle. Let's just double click on it, open it up in the sprite editor. Let's go to the bounding box and right click on this top left point and say add point. So it will always add one to uh, clockwise position. So now we have one in the middle. What I want to do is I want to take these top two and I want to move them down. I'm just click up here in the Y and say two and you can see that it went down two pixels. Come over here, select this one and do the same thing. Y, two. So this gives us a little variation when the ball uh, makes contact with the paddle. It uh, can help send it off in a more, uh, more of an angle each time it collides. This just adds a little variancy in the movement of the ball so we don't get stuck in uh, repetitious patterns. All right, let's do the same thing with the blue block. Uh, select it over here and just in your project panel and double click it it'll open it and let's do the same thing but we have to do it to top or bottom top and bottom let's right click let's add a point click on this one y2 same thing over here y2 and then here click on this bottom one actually click over here on the bottom right right click add a point there we go highlight this point and we want to subtract two from this. So we'll say Y 28. Same thing over here, highlight Y 28, 28, there we go. See, we can just pick one at random, open it up, and it has all the changes that we have made. All right, so we have an angle on our paddle, an angle on our blocks, the walls are angled, so, uh, we shouldn't run in to too much of the ball just getting stuck going back and forth. I'm going to put my debug text in my text and I'm going to close these up. Uh, I'm going to, I have uh, sounds that I made uh, with my mouth into a recorder, made sound effects and some voice and whatnot. You can scour the internet and find your own sound effects or you can just do what I did. It was really easy, really quick. It sounds silly, but that's kind of what I wanted and I'll show you what they are I, off screen I have a folder open I am going to drag all these audio files just into the layout so I'm going to do that now dragging them in here they are and I'm just going to drag and release and you can see it is uh, encoding them and I have uh, a sound effect for destroying a block uh, a sound effect where I'm saying go. Uh, there's a loser sound effect player uh, that's bouncing off the paddle. Uh, me saying ready. This is when it bounces off the wall and then the winner uh, sound effect. Which is basically just me humming into uh, the mic. So uh, once this is all done in coding it happens pretty quick especially if you have super small file sizes like I do. I'm going to hit import and in our sounds folder there they are now back over in the event sheet uh, let's start with start game whenever we start the game we know that when we press the space bar to start the game we want uh, we have that text flashing it's ready I'm going to slide this over so we can see it so text ready is set to visible when text ready is set to visible I want to add an action I'm going to say in the meta which I have not added yet. Let's uh, go to object types, right click, add a new object type. Let's go down to audio under media. Let's add that. I'm going to slide that into my folder. Okay, now I'm going to go add an action. And I'm going to pick audio and play. Yeah, play. There we go. I want to play. Uh, ready, not looping, volume at zero, 
uh, that's just that the volume is adds or decreases decibel levels from what volume your file is already at. So I'm going to move that up to whenever it becomes visible. Uh, I'll do right above it. So as soon as we hit the play button, he's going to say ready at the same time this starts flashing. And then down here, we say go. So I'm going to add an action, pick our audio, play. I have it labeled as go. And I'm going to slide it right in there. So let's see what that does. I'm going to hit. Oh, I got to get my headphones ready here. Sorry about that. I'm going to hit the ready? space bar. Go! And we have our ready go. And it should take us back. It restarts us. Let's do it again. Ready? Go! So that works perfectly. All right. Let's go down to gameplay. Let's add an action. Uh, pick our audio. Play. And when we come in contact with the blue block, we want block destroy, not looping. Good. And we are going to put that immediately. So that'll be the first thing we do. And then we can add inside gameplay. Let's add a couple of more events uh, so we can get more audio going. Uh, let's go to sprites, ball, and say on collision with another object, we're going to pick the wall. Say done. And I let's let's add one more. Go to sprites, ball, and say uh, on collision with another object, the paddle. Okay, so up here on the wall, let's add an action. Let's add our audio, play, and this is the wall, so that's going to be wall bounce. And same thing down here, add action, audio, play, and that's with our player pedal. Uh, I named that player bounce for some reason. That works. All right, that's set up. Let's go to, uh, let's go to winning. Let's add an action, add some audio, play and go to winner and let's move that uh, how about just right there and then on game over when we die let's add action audio play loser uh, let's right before loser comes on screen Okay, is that it? We did winner, wall bounce, ready, uh, paddle bounce, loser, go, block, destroy. That's all of them. All right. I am going to put my headphones on here so I can hear. And let's play. All right, I am going to hit play or hit space bar to ready? play. Go! <laughs> and there's all the sound effects. <laughs> Everything made with my mouth. We got some good bouncing angles going on because of our collision box change. You can see he's avoiding going back and forth. Uh, just straight back and forth. We got some angle going. Let's see if we can beat it. And... So uh, that demonic sound, I know exactly what happened. That was our winner. So what's happening here is when this is set to true, or well, when this condition is met, because the block total has gone down to zero, we've destroyed all the blocks. Uh, while this is true, it's doing all of this. It's constantly keeping this disabled, and it is constantly playing... Uh, this audio for three seconds 
because after three seconds it sets it to game over and we go into another condition. So for three seconds at 60 frames per second, that's 180 times we just heard this file being played. So I don't want that. Double click, say system, trigger once while true. And let's try that again. So I might use my debug control here to get through this pretty quick. Go! And I'm just pressing Z to make things happen while we're testing. There we go. Get a nice little angle going. Break some of those bricks. Listen to those awesome sound effects. And this should do it. Nope. There we go. All right. I think we've tested everything. Ready? Let's pull up a loser. Go! Break. There we go. Everything works. And whenever it resets, we can hit play. Ready? And it starts all over. There you go. Go! Uh, a pretty well polished yet very incredibly simple game. And there are uh, certainly a lot more things we could do. We could uh, set up a score system that displays on the screen somewhere. We could add uh, special items. We could change the ball speed throughout. We could add more balls at, at times. Uh, I guess that would be kind of like a special item thing as I was saying. We can change the speed of the paddle and we can control all these things with more variables. And my question to you is, would you like to see something like that? Uh, I will warn you, for those of you using the trial version, if you continue to use the trial version, we will most likely break the, the 50 event limit uh, before too long. So something to consider if, uh, if you do want to see this get more uh, involved, more detailed, we certainly can. Please let me know in the comments. I'd be glad to uh, expand on this game idea. I have other uh, tutorials ready. I just need to record them. Uh, some simple games that uh, help you understand how not only the game engine works, but how game development in general works and the fundamentals of programming. And uh, it's a lot of fun to create a game and see that it actually works. Uh, through from the beginning to end. So I hope that you enjoyed this series. I hope you learned something from it. Other than that, I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to save.